Today we'll talk about Mobileye and its coming IPO. Mobileye is a huge player in the autonomous vehicles industry. There are many interesting players in this field like Tesla and Apple. This one is really interesting because it's nothing like those parks that generate zero money and sell stories to investors. This company actually generates money and already has $442 million in operating income for the last year. We'll also take a look at what we know on this company's financials, the valuation that's expected in the IPO, what they do and how they generate money right now. We'll see some really cool videos of their technology. We'll also talk about potential risks and I'll tell you a funny story of how I'm related to this company. Okay, so this company is currently owned by Intel or INTC. They bought this company in 2017 for $15.3 billion and now they filed confidentially and S1 with the SEC to spin off Mobileye from Intel. Because it's confidential, we don't have all the details yet, but we do have some interesting things. The expected valuation will be around 50 billion dollars according to some sources. That was a really good investment for Intel from the 15.3 billion dollars they bought it for. Way to go Intel! Intel is expected to remain the largest shareholder in this company and that's important to keep in mind. So if you want to invest in Mobileye, you should really take a close look at Intel's management because they will have a lot of influence on the company going forward. Mobileye use a very different approach from Tesla for its autonomous driving systems. They use all they can like real-time mapping technologies and LiDAR. Their approach is like, if it can possibly help us, we'll use it. And that's the exact opposite from Tesla's approach right now. Tesla uses only cameras and they really don't want to use anything else. Mobileye claims that Tesla will hit a glass ceiling on this and they will have to use LiDAR systems for it to work, but we'll see who's right on this one. Tesla actually used Mobileye's technology in the past and Mobileye stopped their cooperation with them after a fatal accident in 2016. They said that Tesla was pushing the envelope in terms of safety. Elon Musk thinks that they have an advantage over Mobileye since their technology doesn't have to be compatible with every vehicle out there and there might be something to it. We saw something similar in another industry with iOS and Android. Android has to work with thousands of devices, well Apple's iOS only has to work with very few devices and it's much easier for Apple to give their customers the best user experience they can. I'm not sure how it translates to the autonomous vehicles industry, it might be completely different here but that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so what does Mobileye do and how it generates money right now? The company does a lot more than autonomous driving. Their largest revenue generator right now is their advanced driver assistance systems, which they call ADAS for short, which basically means that they manufacture systems that increase driver safety. They currently have 1,700 employees and they claim that more than 25 global automakers rely on mobilized technology. And this is interesting not only because it's great revenue driver for them, but they can also collect data data to improve their technology abilities with all those users. You can see that they say themselves that as a direct result from those partnerships, the robustness and performance of our technology have been battle tested over millions of driving miles as part of the stringent validation process of safety critical automotive products. That really puts them ahead of the competitors and that's really good to see. Their main product right now is the IQ family, which provides the processing power to support their ADAS functions based on one camera sensor. Right now, it's used mostly to alarm drivers of possible accidents before they happen, and the next generations of the chip will be used for autonomous driving. Okay, so their ADAS or advanced driver assistance systems range on a passive and active spectrum. A passive system alerts the driver of potentially dangerous situations so the driver can take action to avoid it. For example, when approaching the car ahead of you too fast, the system beeps to alert the driver and help them avoid collision. An active safety system takes action. For example, they have an automatic emergency braking system that can identify imminent collision and it brakes without any driver's intervention. The technology that Mobileye is mainly focused on is computer vision 
that's basically trying to analyze a photo and make the computer recognize each object. And they say that their philosophy is that if a human can drive a car based on vision alone, so can a computer. And so they developed their technologies until now using only cameras and no other sensors. And they have a demonstration that shows how their car drive autonomously from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv using only camera sensors. And now they use additional sensors like LiDAR to give them more robust solution for autonomous driving. I can tell you that I've seen the autonomous car driving around Jerusalem many times and it also drives in Tel Aviv for years now. I think the first time I saw it was like in 2017-ish. If you visited in Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, you know that it's a really tough task to drive there. Especially in Tel Aviv, it's a really crowded city with a lot of traffic and bicycles on the road. The city is every driver's nightmare. So if it can drive there without problems, I believe it can do a pretty good job anywhere. If you will see the full video where the autonomous car drives around Jerusalem, you'd see that it's a little slow and seems like not the most experienced driver out there, but still very impressive. It manages to avoid obstacles, uh, change lanes, detect pedestrians and everything. They also have videos of the autonomous car driving in Paris and Manhattan. I leave links in the description below if you want to check it out. So let's see what we know about the financials. The S1 is not out yet, so what we know is very limited, but the research company Morningstar estimates that Mobilize 2021 revenue hit $1.4 billion compared to less than $500 million four years previously. Okay, so let's talk about their management. Their CEO is the founder of the company, which I like to see. His name is Amnon Shahashua and he is a professor for computer science in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. That's how I'm related to the company. It's where I studied computer science. They are based in Jerusalem and I have many friends that work there. From what they tell me, they seem to think it's an okay place to work for. Nothing too special, but you have to remember that in the high tech industry, the bar is high and they get high incomes and very good employment conditions. Some of mobilized management seem to be in this company from the very beginning or from an early stage and that's good to see. It's extremely important to look at what employees think about the place, so let's take a look at Glassdoor reviews. So overall, they have 4.1 stars, which is not bad, but not great. There are a lot more reviews there, and I'm not going to go through all of it. So you might want to read them if you think about investing in this company. You may find great insights, and if you go through it all, the picture may seem very different from what we saw here. Okay, so let's talk about why they're being spun off from Intel in the first place. They want to give it more room to raise its own capital that will help them launch Robotaxi and they expect to be spun off in the next few quarters. Mobileye is overshadowed by Intel's massive business and it remains unnoticed by many investors because it's not contributing enough revenues to be noticed by investors so they just want to let it shine on its own and give them this room for investments. Let's talk a little about risks and concerns now. Note that they have very large competitors in this field like Apple that's also working on their version for autonomous driving and they expect it to debut in 2025. There's also Nvidia, Qualcomm, Tesla that I already mentioned and they are not alone in the Robotaxi business too. Some other companies expect to launch Robotaxi in the next few years. Mobileye expects it to happen in, two, in 2022 uh, in Munich and Tel Aviv and there's Cruz, the self-driving subsidiary of uh, General Motors that expect to do the same in the next few years. Cruz expects it to be a $50 billion revenue opportunity. Note that General Motors is a customer of Mobileye and they integrate Mobileye systems in their vehicles and I don't know if they use Mobileye technologies for their own robotaxi. If you find anything about it, let me know in the comments. Remember that this technology needs the approval of regulators in each country and it might take some time. It's people's lives we are talking about here, so it can be a tough decision for lawmakers to make it possible. If it takes a long time, investors can lose interest and that could be reflected in the stock price. So keep that in mind. It 
could take some time and it's very hard to predict it. Another concern is the valuation. We really don't know much yet because we still haven't seen the S1 and it could be valued at a price where it's not worthwhile to take the risk. If the IPO for a market cap of $50 billion and the revenues really are $1.4 billion, it implies a price to sales ratio of 35.7 and that's not low ratio by any means, but it's similar to some of Mobilize competitors. The operating income of four 442 million dollars implies a price to operating income ratio of 113. They have to go fast in the next few years to justify this valuation but as I said we really don't know much yet and those ratios don't tell us much. We'll see the valuations when we get the S1 and then we'll know better. I do believe that they have very good chances to be a leader in this industry because the technology seems to be superior at this point in time and Mobileye also already is an industry leader in supplying semiconductors and complementing software for ADAS and potentially fully autonomous driving. Therefore, as this field grows larger, Mobileye is in a great spot to be at the center of this industry. As I said, I do have my concerns, but we will see how it unfolds. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. This is our new investing channel where you can learn how to invest Invest, find new investing ideas and learn about the amazing history of some companies and much more. It will mean the world to us if you decided to join our journey and subscribe to our channel.